my name's Scott Mags, formerly known as Jimmy Nichols, Esquire, and um, I am the CEO and founder of Skin Check Champions. Yeah, so skin cancer cut me pretty deep uh, after one of my best friends passed away or was killed by a melanoma that he had on his neck and um, it was just a sus looking spot that he didn't realise was bad until it was too late and it killed him at the age of 26 which was horrible and um, yeah it kind of inspired me um, and our friends to start something in his honour. Uh, he, I think, I don't know, it was kind of like itchy and a little bit bleedy and um, just a bit out of the ordinary. Um, and I think he went to his GP and then he all of a sudden kind of got swept into the skin cancer journey pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, it turned into a, it was a pretty aggressive late stage melanoma. And um, it, by that stage, it got into his system and uh, he ended up dying from a brain tumour. Um, yeah, not good. It was just such a big shock. Like We just didn't realise that it was something that crept up on people that aggressively. Um, and something that happened to young people as well. Like We were like, isn't melanoma like something that happens to those literary people on the beach? And, um, when we found out that it was one of the biggest cancers amongst young people in Australia, we were just so shocked and so amazed that um, it was happening to people all around the country. Um, and yeah, it was just terrible seeing what we went through. Um, and we just didn't want that to happen to anyone else that we knew, anyone. We, we now get checked like, you know, at least once a year, which um, has been really, really good to keep an eye on things. And when every time we go surfing or, you know, working outside or whatever, we're always trying, I always try and be the person that suggests, you know, put you on some sun cream. Um, Cause sometimes it takes a friend to say that, to make sure that you kind of ingrain that behavior. Um, and yeah, now I kind of use it quite religiously. And yeah, wear, wear a hat and long sleeve shirt and, um, you know, cover up. I didn't know what skin cancer looked like before. I just thought it was like a weird dark colored mole or whatever, but I've since learned that it can be, it can, it can be, it can be white, it can be pink, it can be like a bubbly kind of looking pimple thing. Um, it can even be like a stripe in your nails or like in between your toes or under your feet. Um, and I've heard of them popping up in places like you wouldn't even expect. Like I met someone the other day that um, their sister had one inside their um, cervix, like inside. And I'm like, it's, it's just such a rogue, weird thing that can pop up anywhere and you really need to, that's why you really need to be on top of, um, of your skin checks. I, have, I had a beard for 11 years and that was my conversation starter. Um, we started beard season after Wes passed away and the idea was we'd grow our beards every winter and use them to tell people to get checked. Um, and I shaved my beard off last year and, um, sorry, in 2021 and I don't have it anymore. So I, I don't know, I just like to bring it up with friends and family every now and then and just try and remember, you know, um, to talk about the importance of getting checked and why and how easy it is and um, I think now with this campaign hopefully we, we can inspire millions of Aussies to make it a yearly um, habit something really empowering for them to look after themselves. Uh, I reckon there's a bit of a she will be right attitude and yeah now nah, I'll get to it. Um, I think People know it's important, but it's something that slips off their to-do lists. And um, our goal as a charity is to make it as easy as possible to, to find a clinic, make an appointment, to turn up on time and to know why you're there and why it's important to get a really good proper check. Um, and we're gonna work as hard as we can to, to make um, checks more accessible, um, not just with your own GP or your own skin cancer clinic, but 
For people that don't have access to that, um, we want to provide free pop-up screening um, clinics all around the country, um, particularly in regional and remote Australia, um, and to hopefully pioneer um, a national screening program because I reckon it's something that affects two and three Aussies and it's such a sneaky little thing that um, if we can get people in the, mo in the mode of checking each year, then we're going to save a lot of lives. Well, uh, Aussies love coming first and unfortunately we're the first in the world for uh, melanoma and skin cancer rates, 12 times the global average and it's something that we definitely should not be proud of. Um, Queensland skin cancer capital of the world, it happens to two in three Australians and it's our number one cancer in young people. And we can do something about it. In, our, in this generation, I reckon we can create that change. And over 98% of skin cancers can be, uh, if they're detected early, can be successfully treated. And that's what our charity is completely focused on. Um, and it's our goal to encourage Aussies all around the country to get checked at least once a year. And um, if we can do that with government, it's going to have such a bigger impact and be so much more efficient and uh, save so many more lives. And I think it's something that Australia should be proud of and that we can hopefully pioneer here, get right, and then show the world how it's done. Yeah, well, stripping off is sometimes a little scary, but uh, as you've seen in this campaign, it can be a lot of fun and it's something that we shouldn't be scared of. And um, all it takes is to strip down your undies, visit your GP, visit your skin cancer clinic, or come to one of our pop-up skin check clinics and just get it done. And um, if you want to strip off and, and help us spread the word, because as you know, on social media, if, you, if you're scrolling and you see someone, stark is doing something funny, it's gonna get your attention. And that's what this campaign's all about. And it's getting people's attention for a super important cause and hopefully, you know, potentially saving a lot of lives. So um, if you can, strip off for skin cancer.